attracted there. Well, exactly. Ego wants to be entertained and supported. But why do people make this path about somebody else? If somebody else comes or goes, then I'll stay. But if they go, oh my God, what am I going to do? When really where people should be looking is what are you getting from here? Why are you basing your stuff on what somebody else has got or don't ha doesn't have? Or where somebody else comes or goes to? What difference does that make in your journey? It, make a bit of difference. it shouldn't. It has nothing to do with you. Just like that same nonsense of, well, you know, there has only been nice and kind to me, but yet I've heard through the grapevine something, so now I'm going to change my whole opinion. What in the world is going on? Have I not stressed over and over and over again this path is about, you know, the one-to-one -one that, that's going on here? What's, what is your reality? What is going on really genuinely here? In your own direct experience. In your own direct experience. It's about your direct experience, not adopting some other nonsense. It's about it has to be through your direct experience. It shouldn't matter what anybody else's experience is. It has nothing to do with you. Really, people need to focus on what are they getting from here? What is their direct experience? Sure. What's there and what's not? I mean, that's what it's all based on. You know, what's changed, what's exactly. gotten, fallen away, what all of it. You know? Exactly, exactly. And one has to be willing to really look and see how life has changed, how life is changing. What are the things that are, you know, making great changes in your world? Absolutely. You know, and see that there are changes that are taking place. Not everybody is going to change at the same pace. It's not. And what's a button to one is not a button to another. So why in the world do you run after somebody else's buttons? Oh my God, they had a button pushed. Oh my God, you know, so I better, you know, rethink everything here. I just, you know. One should relate to your spiritual preceptor on what is taking place in your world. What's there and what's not. And be honest with it. Okay. Don't base your spiritual uh, recognition of path or whatever based upon somebody else's experience. Because you really have to walk the journey with yourself. Okay. Yes, we have a community. And yes, the community is supposed to be supportive of one another. But each person is walking the experience themselves. Nobody else can be in your mind. Okay? Nobody else is in your experiences, whatever they are. They may be having similar experiences on the outside, but internally it can be something totally seen from a different angle. It will hit them differently. It will be experienced differently. What's comforting to one is bone jarring to another. So why in the world would people want to base their experience with the path and their, you know, holding to the path or leading the path based on what somebody else is going on in somebody else's realm? I don't get that. Doesn't make in one iota of logical sense here whatsoever. So please, people, you know, I don't care if it's this path, if it's another path, whatever, you base your experiences on what is taking place for you within that, uh, that place that you're getting fed spiritually. Okay. 
Are you moving forward in your life or are you not? Bottom line, if you've hit a holding period, but you've had experience in the past and things, you know, sometimes people get to a holding period. And it takes a while. Things are working under the surface. It may not be readily seen daily. Okay, a lot of people come in a path and they want instant success. Rather than see it takes years, you know, 20, 30, 40 years of just continually grinding it. But no, they want it immediately within a week or two, a month or two. Within a year, I should have realization. It's absolutely nonsense. It can take lifetimes of working towards that. Lifetimes worth of work, you know, it, it accumulates, it builds, but it, a lot of times it's working under the surface. So don't expect to always see that something being major is going on in every moment. I mean, if you watch a, a fruit tree, you don't see the fruit growing before your very eyes. Yes, it's growing daily. But it's not perceptible. If you stood there and watched it, you're not going to see the growth. If you don't believe me, go out and look at one, please, and tell me how you notice the changes daily on it. That could you know? be your meditation. Well, exactly. <laughs> you could go watch grass grow or something, you know. <laughs> But guaranteed, you know, you're, you sit there and watch it, there will be changes happening, but they will not be perceptible to you. You turn around and look and all of a sudden, my God, we got fruit and it's sweetened and it's ripe and it's ready to fall. But how did that happen? I watched the thing and I didn't see really any changes on a daily thing. So, so how's that work? But there is change happening. So again, base your experiences on what's actually genuinely taking place for you, with you, on the spiritual journey. That's all. Namaste.